Over 29 million people take HIV medication every day. Yet, if you stop the treatment, the virus can come back in as little as two weeks. So in this video, you will know why HIV is so hard to cure and three main barriers that blocked us from finding the cure. You'll also see how scientists are tackling these obstacles with strategies like kick and kill therapy, gene editing, and engineered immune cells. And just in case if you're wondering who am I, I have been a pharmacist for 17 years and 14 of that has been within HIV medicine. I have worked at four major HIV centers in London in the United Kingdom and I've seen thousands of HIV patients through phone, face to face, and uh, I have reached a phase in my life where I just want to give back. Now, the number one barrier to HIV cure is that HIV hides like a stowaway. So imagine someone sneaks onto a ship without having a valid ticket and then hides in a dark, difficult to access space during the entire journey. That is what HIV does within your body. It slips inside certain immune cells and stays hidden and silent so neither your immune system or the medication that you take can easily spot them. In medical terms, these hidden spots are called HIV reservoirs. And you can find these reservoirs in your brain, lymph nodes, blood, spleen, intestine, genital tracts. And this is where the virus hides far from the side of your immune system and the medication that you take. Now, the second barrier to HIV cure is that it parks its blueprint inside our own cells. Now, let me explain what that means. So think of the flu virus or COVID virus. Each of these viruses enter the cell to make copies of themselves. But once the job is done, the new viral particles are then released into bodily fluids. So it becomes easy for medicines to see them and to kill them. Now, HIV, on the other hand, not just uses the cell to replicate, but it also glues its instruction into the cell's DNA, as you can see through the red lines here. And that creates the hidden reservoirs that standard drugs that we take cannot touch. Another simple way to understand this is imagine someone gluing extra pages of their own recipe into an already established cookbook. And these pages are buried somewhere so deep in the book that your average reader cannot find them. So that's HIV reservoir in a nutshell. The third barrier to HIV cure is that it mutates quickly. So HIV reproduces in huge numbers. Think of HIV like a busy copy machine. It makes new virus copies all the time. But the copier is not perfect. Each time it copies, it makes tiny mistakes, as you can see the flaws in the design here. And those mistakes change the virus's look. So a single drug or a vaccine is designed to fit in one lock to treat a certain copy of the virus. But the moment HIV changes slightly, the lock changes and the same key no longer works. So this is why vaccines have failed so far because they're only designed to treat a certain type of the strain. And this is also why we use a mix of drugs. So if one drug doesn't work, combination of drug will still work. So now that you know about the three main barriers to cure, let's now focus on how the researchers are tackling each of these barriers. So the first barrier was the HIV reservoir hiding as a stowaway or the HIV virus hiding in these reservoirs. 
So to tackle this, researchers are using a technique called kick and kill. So this is where you kick the virus out of the reservoir by giving a short course of medicines called latency reversing agents or LRAs. And once these virus particles are out of the reservoir and into the blood, you then kill the virus by using powerful antibodies or the standard HIV medication that you take. The second barrier, which is where the HIV parks its blueprint inside our cells. So to tackle that, gene editing techniques where we remove the glued in pages of the cell zone instruction by using technique like CRISPR. And I've made a video on CRISPR, so please do check it out. And this is where we clip the particular gene called CCR5, so HIV then cannot come inside the cell to make copies of itself. And the last barrier, which is HIV mutating very quickly and working like this copying machine and producing different strains of the viruses, the scientists are using something called engineered immune cells or CAR T cells. So scientists are taking some of your own immune cells out, teaching them new tricks in the lab, and then putting them back in so they can hunt down the HIV-infected cells 24 7 Now, for all of these techniques, only small studies have been done so far, but what we need are bigger clinical trials to prove that they are safe, they work in everyone, and also that they last a long time. So until we see the results of the bigger trials for all the techniques we've just spoken about, taking daily tablets for HIV is still recommended as gold standard because that is what keeps your virus suppressed, which in turn keeps your immune system strong and it also prevents onward sexual transmission. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that now you have a better understanding of all the strategies we are using to try and find a cure and all the barriers that are hindering us in finding a cure for the HIV-affected patients worldwide. But we haven't lost hope and I urge you to not lose hope and continue taking daily tablets until the permanent cure comes. Also, if you found this video useful, please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and it helps the important message going out to wider audience. If you have any questions about the video or if there's anything else you want me to cover, just drop them down in the comments. I do read comments and I do reply to them as soon as I can. Before you go, just a quick but important reminder. This video here is to help you understand HIV but it's not a replacement advice from your doctor or your HIV team. They know your case, your blood tests, and your overall health history. And that is the most important guidance to follow. So please don't make any changes to your medication based on this video. Always speak to your doctor first. Stay informed and stay empowered. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, folks.